The Project Japan. Big changes are afoot in the Japanese construction industry. Grueling work hours and a shortage of new workers have long been a staple of the industry. But new initiatives are being launched to address these issues and accelerate work style reforms. One such initiative that's generating particular interest is the adoption of eye construction, which is aimed at enhancing productivity through ICT. We find out how the ongoing digital revolution is transforming construction sites. The Tomei Expressway was fully opened in 1969 as a key transport artery of Japan. But economic development has led to chronic congestion with aging structures emerging as a major issue. In response, construction has started of a new 254 kilometer long artery called Shin Tomei Expressway, linking Kanagawa Prefecture's Ebina City and Aichi Prefecture's Toyota City. Yamakita Town sits on the border of Kanagawa and Shizuoka Prefectures. At this section, major earthwork construction to level a more than 70 meter valley is underway. The fill materials will reach 3.2 million cubic meters in volume, equivalent to the capacity of 700,000 10-ton trucks. This section is being constructed by a major general contractor, Shimizu Corporation. What's unique about this project is that three-dimensional data is being utilized across the entire construction process, from surveying, design and construction to inspection. For example, 3D data of the site and 3D models of the heavy equipment to be used are rendered in a virtual space to predict potential dangers when operating the heavy equipment. 3D data is also used to assist in the actual operation of heavy equipment. Construction is carried out fully utilizing information and communications technology. The construction industry is directly impacted by the shrinking and aging population. The dramatic decline in the labor force is a big problem. To fill that hole, we need to enhance productivity. There have been major advances in information and communications technology in recent years. By utilizing this technology, it's becoming possible to significantly raise productivity. The industry has been increasingly adopting information and communications technology and eye construction is among the most widely watched initiatives. Eye construction encompasses all processes from surveying, design, construction and inspection to maintenance management. The aim is to incorporate ICT to raise productivity across the entire construction and production system. Behind its adoption is the rapid aging and severe shortage of workers in the industry. Of the 3.3 million skilled workers today, about 30% are 55 years old and above, with those 29 years old and under accounting for just 10% of the total. As with other industries, construction is being impacted by the aging and shrinking population with the number of new workers in significant decline. If processes and work that need to be monitored and carried out by people can be done using devices, robots and computers, it will be both labor and energy saving. What's more, if ICT specialists become part of the construction process, then it will be possible to realize a new supply chain. In setting the R&D objective in our endowed course, we aim for a tenfold increase in productivity. To conceptualize the creation of a new system, it's essential to set the bar high. 
The Ministry of Land, Infrastructure, Transport and Tourism has also been promoting eye construction to make construction sites more productive and attractive to workers, establishing the eye construction awards. One of the recipients was Shimizu, which has been overseeing construction of the Kawanishi section of the Shin Tomei Expressway. The project covers new construction of a 2.6 kilometer length of the expressway. The extensive adoption of eye construction in areas such as earthworks and tunnel construction has been attracting industry-wide attention. First, eye construction can improve safety on sides. It can also enhance operational efficiency and workflow for both the contractor and customer. We believe it is extremely effective in these aspects. It can also help significantly reduce costs and construction times. Shimizu Corporation adopted eye construction for the Kawanishi section to address issues on site such as efficiency and visualization in major earthworks. It's necessary to properly manage what materials are being used for which earthwork. We need to carry out rolling compaction according to our quality control protocols. It's a big site, so one of our challenges is to make the site more visually understandable for everyone involved. To do that, they've decided to fully utilize ICT to enhance the traceability and visibility of the earthwork materials brought onto the site. The destination of the materials brought in by each dump truck is put into the system and they're compacted while carrying out appropriate quality control. So 3D data is accumulated on a daily basis. And the work is visualized, making it possible to see what's happening at any time. At the same time, drones equipped with laser scanners are used for the surveying process essential for construction, allowing them to acquire high-precision 3D data. At this site, we use unmanned aerial vehicles or drones to carry out surveys. This allows us to capture data of the entire site and makes the work more efficient. It also makes it possible to survey steep inclines, places that are too dangerous for people, so another advantage is improved safety. We also put tripods on the ground and use lasers that rotate 360 degrees to carry out surveys. Workers on this site are seen frequently using tablets. Tablets allow them to use an augmented reality system to visualize how the current site will look overlaid with what will be constructed. Scheduled to be completed here is earth cutting with an elevation difference of up to 70 meters and construction of a bridge road over the valley. Projecting the completed model on the actual site allows everyone to have the same image of what they're aiming for. Workers have told us that it's become much easier for them to imagine what it will look like when the work is finished. At this office, a worker is in the middle of a remote meeting while wearing VR goggles. He participates as an avatar modeled on himself in a virtual environment. On this day, they're meeting to discuss the installment of precast materials transported from factories. Is there a gap below the bottom slab? It's filled in, so no problem. The participants check images and 3D construction models of the site in a virtual environment together so that everyone is on the same page. Multiple people, not only from the Tokyo head office, but also in remote locations, can hold meetings in this virtual space. As there's no need for them to travel, it's an initiative that also helps promote work-style reforms. Typically, it would take about two hours for people in remote locations to travel here for face-to-face -face meetings. Saving on travel time has helped raise productivity. 
We have many employees across the country with various skill sets. By reducing their travel time, we can get together virtually as needed to discuss specific issues. I think it's a great tool that allows us to carry out high-level discussions. On site, the 3D data captured by the survey drone is used to carry out construction via machine guidance. Machine guidance is a technology that allows operators to check the location information of heavy equipment as well as construction progress against 3D design data on an in-vehicle monitor, helping to guide them in controlling the heavy equipment. When excavating a mountain, it shows the location of the backhoe bucket in real time and allows the work to be carried out without the need to place markers that are typically needed under conventional methods. During the work of compacting the massive amounts of fill materials brought to the site, vibrating rollers equipped with a global navigation satellite system are used. Test work is carried out to determine the compaction frequency that will ensure quality according to the type of soil at the site. The monitor shows the compaction frequency of the vibrating rollers by color. The soil here is compacted until everything is shown in red. What kind of future will eye construction help to build for the industry? We want to strengthen partnerships with companies inside and outside our industry and become a frontrunner in the ICT field to lead the construction industry. Building on that, we want to expand our business not only domestically, but overseas as well. The off-site aspects of construction can be carried out remotely. For example, it may be possible to become an avatar in cyberspace and participate in overseas infrastructure projects. Engineers will be able to expand the scope of their activities beyond borders and even time differences. I believe it could lead to the birth of new services and business models in the construction industry. The adoption of eye construction is paving a path to a more sustainable and new future for the Japanese construction industry. <laughs>